lawmakers legalized marijuana products that have the ability to create a high. The goal was to only approve hemp products for adult use with little concentration of THC, but instead the legislature greenlit Delta 8 and Delta 9 strains. The law is expected to be tweaked during the spring session. Here to talk about this is Jim Ingster, a political analyst. So first, I mean, how do you accidentally approve something like this? That's a good question. I'm not sure we've gotten the full answer, but uh, lawmakers may not be as in the know about marijuana as uh, some people in the community are. We know we've had a revolution, uh, and now any street corner in any big city in Louisiana, we're going to have the familiar aroma of marijuana in the, in the era, and uh, it, we're one of 19, uh, 38 states, 38 states that allows medicinal use. Now, 19 states have recreational use. We're not there yet, but lawmakers may have inadvertently got us where we're pretty close. Right, and I mean, so this means it's perfectly legal. Anybody can go out and, and use this stuff. Yeah, well, well, people who use these products tell me that eight milligrams will, quote, get you high. And uh, of course, people uh, do this legally and they get behind the wheel and things can happen when people are impaired. But I think we're in one of the most conservative states with one of the most conservative legislatures. I, I find it highly doubtful that this act will stand through the next session. Right, and that was going to take me to my next question. How are they planning to tweak this so that, you know, people can't have access to these products? Well, the genie's out of the bottle, literally, but uh, I suspect they can uh, make it where certain milligram levels are unacceptable, and they probably will do that, and then we'll see if people follow the law. But right now, even if you get arrested for marijuana uh, possession and using it illegally, if you don't have the medicinal uh, yard pass, the penalty is really uh, minimal. It's like a traffic ticket. And uh, we know in Louisiana in the past, as of just a few years ago, there were 50 people serving life sentences for marijuana possession because it was a third offense. And that has changed dramatically. Some would say for the better, but maybe the legislature in its wisdom feels like they've gone a bit too far. So let's backpedal a little bit. How long has this been legalized? Well, it's a couple of years now. Uh, John Bell Edwards was the governor, and of course he is against uh, legalizing it for recreational purposes. I remember this was an issue in the 2015 governor's election, and, uh, and then uh, a few years, uh, I believe, into his second term, uh, this became the law of the state of Louisiana, and now most of the nation, including most of the southern states, have followed suit. So there's nothing unusual about it being legal for medicinal uses. But it is unusual to have these high levels, uh, 8 milligrams, that would make somebody high pretty quickly if they ate enough gummies. And uh, I think that uh, we've had a sea change and, and people generally are okay with it. It hasn't uh, caused the world to stop the way some people said it would. Right, and I've seen a lot of people on the internet have been complaining because they know that this law is going to go back to session and they mm -hmm. know there are going to be tweaks that are happening. Do you think that there's possibly any chance that some of it will, will linger? If they're active enough and have money to deliver to politicians, uh, most polls show that most people in the country and in Louisiana, for example, they are against assault weapons, but yet they're the law of the state and the nation because the people who treasure them they're forceful in politics, and it's a question whether this will have a groundswell and people will become more active, and I don't know if that will be the case. Uh, and now those who are uh, naysayers would say they're, they're too high to even know what they're doing, but I think it's been proved that marijuana use is not necessarily any more dangerous than use of hard liquors. So the world has not changed, and, and now we have essentially something that was given to people that is taken away. At any time that happens on any issue, there is pushback. All right, so, I mean, we don't really know what's gonna happen, we just have to wait till the spring session. I think so. All right, well, thank you so much for Good talking. Good to see you, Kara, yeah. as always.